And now to a developing story in Uvalde, where the city just concluded an independent investigation into the mass shooting. While it found many failures in the police response, investigators determined that none of the first five Uvalde officers who responded violated policy. This May 24th marks two years since a gunman walked into Robb Elementary, killing 19 students and two teachers. And tonight we have new insight on that tragedy. The lead investigator says he sorted through 5,000 entries to help nail down a timeline. And the findings certainly align with what we've heard before. The largest issues were due to lack of communication, training and equipment. The responding agencies were not on the same page and it was Uvalde's district police who were supposed to lead the overall response. But the report reveals these problems started months, maybe years before the mass shooting. Some officers hadn't practiced breaching tactics since before the pandemic, as opposed to most departments, which train three to four times a year. Having listened to all that, some of the victims' families couldn't hold it in any longer. I want you to think about the people that you love most in this world, your children, a spouse, a parent. You think about them huddled together in a dark room with a deranged person with an AR-15. Somebody calls 911. Help is on the way. Are these the people that you want responding to your loved ones? The Uvalde DA is still conducting a criminal investigation right now. It'll be up to a grand jury to decide if any of those officers should face charges.